Hi everyone, this is Krista with Art Graphics Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble my double-sided snow globe shaker card in Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. If you're a Cricut Design Space user, you can access some of my shared projects by opening Cricut Design Space. And on the home screen, in the search bar, type Art Graphics Studio and press enter. Then scroll down to Community Members and click on Art Graphics Studio. There you'll find all of my shared projects. These are the components for the Snow Globe Shaker card. It'll fit in a five by seven envelope. This is the front. This is the back. And this will be the panel that goes here on the front of the back. And this will go on the inside of this front panel. And in between here will be a strengthening panel and a piece of acetate. All right. I'm also going to be using some foam beads for the shaker card and some foam snowflakes to go on the front of the card. There are only two score lines on the very front and the very back, and those will score and glue to each other. And that will give a little room for the acetate and the snow globe. So the first thing we want to do is to glue the strengthener to the front. And this cardstock, I want to use a shimmer cardstock, so it's a little thin. So I made and I provided a backer board on that. So we're just going to glue that on. While that's drying, we will go ahead and put the front panel of the back on there, on the back. And you might want to be sure and check because if it doesn't fit the same both ways. So make sure that you've got it turned the right way before you glue it down. All right, let's do that. We're gonna let that dry. Now we're going to put the acetate on the back of the front of the card. It only fits one way. And we're going to put it on with tape because glue doesn't really hold real well to the, to the acetate. So we're gonna use tape to put that on there. Make sure that the tape doesn't show from the other side. It doesn't. So now we'll take the backing off of the tape. I want to add some heat embossing on these pieces. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and we'll finish putting it together. So we've got a double-sided 
tape on there, but uh, before we pull that off, we want to either use a dryer sheet or some uh, anti-static powder because we are going to be using the snowflakes as our shakers, at least this, and then possibly some glitter. So we want to make sure that we don't have any sticky on here. Now, okay. because these foam bits that are our shaker bits, when we put our bits in here, we're going to need to build it up. And I'm using this foam sticker tape, double-sided tape. Uh, and I am using the very narrow, the eighth inch, because I've got a narrow spot here. So I'm going to put this all around here in the narrow spot. And then I will use the quarter inch on this part down here. So I'll do that and we'll be right back. Now here I have put the eighth inch double wide and then the larger on, and I put the eighth inch around all the edges. I got a you wanna make sure that you don't see that on the outside. So I'm gonna pull all the backer tape off and I'm gonna put another layer of the foam on here because as I said, these little balls are a little bit thicker so I don't want them stuck. So I'll do that and we'll continue after that. Now, you don't have to use the, to double up the foam tape if you don't want to. It just depends on what you're going to be using in here. You can just make it as thick as you need to in order to make you, what you're using work. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our shaker bits. You might want to do this actually before you peel off the tape backer, but that's just up to you, whatever's convenient for you. I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of chunky glitter just to give it some sparkle. Now we want to take our second piece of acetate and lay it right on top of that to trap your shakers inside. Now we're going to add the backing to it, but we're going to need to put some double-sided tape here because we will be adhering it to acetate. All right, here we go. Now we've got our see-through shaker card front. And when we put this together, you'll be able to see the background. And how we want to do that is we want to glue this little tab to this little tab. Like so. So we're going to put some glue right there. put a little bit of paper clips with some small paper clips just to hold it in place while it dries. We're almost done. Now I've got some little foam snowflakes and I am going to add a few of these to the front. They're all different sizes but I want some fairly small ones. Now what I've done is I've cut out the snowflake and it's it's sticky on both sides. So I peeled off the paper just where the snowflake is. And then I used glitter to cover up. And then I'll peel the paper, the rest of the paper off and set them in place. So once we've got the glitter on that, we want to remove the snowflake from the backing carefully. Mm -hmm. 
It's a bit tedious, but it's very pretty. There we go. Now it is a little thick for mailing, so it might need extra postage if you're going to mail it. And then if you'd like to, you can put a cinnamon on the back. And there you go. Very cute little card. Or you can put a cinnamon here or even here. Thanks for watching, and if you find this video useful, don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and notification bell to stay informed about more exciting projects. I appreciate you watching my video, and I will see you next time.